Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of A.T. Still University's Missouri School of Dentistry and Oral Health and the graduating class of 2022, we welcome you to today's commencement ceremony. Today's program is professionally recorded. We ask that you remain in your seat for all photography. Should your child need attention, please move outside of the auditorium. If you would silence all electronic devices and please rise, the ceremony will now begin.
Good morning. Please be seated. Welcome to the A.T. Still University, Missouri School of Dentistry and Oral Health Class of 2022 Commencement Ceremony. I'm Dr. Norman Gevitz, Senior Vice President, Academic Affairs for ATSU. This is a very special day in the lives of those receiving DMD degrees from A.T. Still University. Family and friends, on behalf of the faculty, staff, and administration, I thank you for joining us in honoring these outstanding graduates and recognizing their great achievement. Graduates, you now have the tools and capacity to make a difference in your communities and in the lives of the people you serve. The degree each of you will receive today is not just a credential. It is a testament to your proficiency and competency in mastering a range of difficult subjects. Congratulations, we are proud of you. We wish you the best and we look forward to hearing from you as you go forward to improve the well-being of all communities. Now, please join me in welcoming the Dean of the Missouri School of Dentistry and Oral Health, Dr. Dwight McLeod. Thank you, Dr. Gavitz. Good morning. Please allow me to make a few introductions, but please hold your applause until I have introduced the entire stage party. Please remain standing as I call your name. Beginning on my far left, Dr. Grishandra Branch Mays, Senior Associate Dean, Academic Affairs, Professor, and Presenter of the Candidates today. Ms. Laurie Haxton, Vice President, Student Affairs. Dr. David Greaves, Assistant Professor, and today's Grand Marshal. Ms. Berta Thomas, member of the A.T. Steele University Board of Trustees. Dr. Alan Freeman, President and CEO of Affinia Healthcare and today's commencement speaker. Dr. Craig Phelps, Class of 1984, Kirksville College of Osteopathic Medicine and President of A.T. Steele University. On my far right, Dr. Michael Abels, Assistant Professor and Commencement Hooter. Dr. Richard Allenson, Assistant Professor and Commencement Hooter. Dr. Poonam Jain, Vice Dean, Clinical Affairs and Advanced Dental Education, Professor and Commencement Hooter. Dr. Norman Gavitz, Senior Vice President of Academic Affairs. Dr. Lisa Bosch, Class of 2019 and Missouri School of Dentistry and Oral Health Alumni Association representative. Please welcome our stage party. Thank you, please be seated. At this time, I would like to introduce to you the class of 2022, please stand. You may be seated. I would like to now introduce some very important individuals. First, our outstanding Muslo faculty. Would you please stand? Muslo faculty, please stand. Thank you, please be seated. Would any graduates, guests, and faculty who are current or retired members of the uniformed services or first responders please stand and be recognized?
thank you for all you do for our communities and country. Please be seated. Parents and grandparents of the graduates, please stand. We thank you for the support you have given to our graduates and for entrusting them to us. It has been our honor and privilege to have these young men and women learn with us. Spouses, partners, significant others, and children of the graduates, please stand. We also honor you and thank you for your understanding and support. We extend a special thank you to Truman State University President Dr. Sue Thomas for her hospitality in sharing their facilities for our commencement. Now I would like to share with you some important statistics for the class of 2022. The class of 2022 is the final cohort of the inaugural class that started with an enrollment of 42 students. Student enrollment after the class of 2022 is 63 dental students per class. There are 41 Doctor of Dental Medicine graduates in the class of 2022. The class is composed of 19 ladies and 22 gentlemen. 18 states are represented of which five graduates are from Minnesota, three graduates are from the states of Tennessee, Wisconsin, and Texas. There are 18 graduates from other Midwestern states and regions of the United States, not including Missouri. There are seven graduates from the state of Missouri and at least five graduates will reside and work in Missouri. Five graduates will be attending a residency program or a postgraduate program, two in Missouri. Graduates from the class of 2022 have chosen various employment opportunities. 10 graduates will work in community health centers. Two graduates will serve in the military for a total of 12 graduates working in public health, or 29% of the class. Seven graduates will work in corporate dentistry. 10 graduates will work in private practice. The remaining students have not reported their work choice. Over the past four years, the class of 2022 actively participated in community service projects, logging over 9,000 hours of service for dentistry in the community, averaging 50 events each year and touching thousands of underserved individuals. Types of outreach include school, school fluoride varnish program, interprofessional activities with Kirksville College of Osteopathic Medicine, St. Louis College of Health Science and Pharmacy, and St. Louis University School of Medicine Health Resource Center, numerous health fairs, and veteran screenings and dental services. In-state dental mission trips to Dexter and education and direct care to older adults from the city of St. Louis. Members of the class of 2022 participated in 75 outreach events in academic year 2022. In academic year 2021, they participated in 43 events, 50 events in academic year 2020, and 35 events in academic year 2019, for a grand total of 203 outreach events. These accomplishments are remarkable. The class of 2022 increased access to oral health care, providing over 7,500 procedures in 39 community health centers, of which 24 are in the state of Missouri. Class of 2022, these statistics show that you volunteer to serve children adults, seniors, rural and urban communities, at homeless shelters, food banks, public and private schools, the International Institute, senior centers, community health centers, houses of worship, nursing homes, missions of mercy in Missouri, and you participated in trunk or treat and special Olympics. You demonstrated compassion and care while you actively increased the oral health literacy of the individuals you served and bringing greater public awareness 
to the prevalence of dental diseases, the need for better nutrition, oral health, and access to oral health care. Additionally, you provided screenings for 117 veterans and were the primary providers for the majority of them. These former servicemen and women benefited from the program with the delivery of 18 arches of dentures. Since the inception of the Smiles for Veterans program in 2017, over 450 veterans have received dentures, accounting for over 800 arches of dentures. Through your community service efforts and your active participation and leadership, you were able to positively affect the lives of over 8,000 individuals through dental and oral cancer screenings, fluoride applications, and oral health literacy. You clocked over 1,000 hours of community service locally and regionally. Your 2021 through 2022 integrated community service partnership at federally qualified health centers involved rotations at 39 sites in six states, including Missouri, Illinois, Kansas, Wisconsin, and the state of Missouri, accounting for 24 sites. You managed to serve community health centers for 410 work weeks and completed 7,500 procedures. Many of you had acceptances from other dental schools across our great nation, but four years ago, you selected ATCL University, Missouri School of Dentistry and Oral Health in doing so, you became a member of one of the greatest health profession institution, A.T. Steele University. The fact that you stand proud today is not by chance, but because you knew you were joining the founding school of osteopathic medicine with its strong, steadfast values dating back to 1892 and its bold mission, visions, and goals. Your time here has been filled with enriching educational, institutional, professional, and community service experiences. You have been taught and mentored by some of the most caring and dedicated faculty members, staff, and administrators. Daily, I'm enthused and energized by the Missouri School of Dentistry and Oral Health staff, faculty members, and administrators' commitment to ensure the progress, well-being, and success of all our students. I'm truly grateful for your dedication and contributions. Likewise, I'm delighted to be a member of this caring and person-centered institution, and I'm sure you are too. The future is bright and promising. As new healthcare providers and leaders, you will have the professional power to influence and positively change the population you serve through adhering to your professional oath of equal and just treatment for all patients. You have a moral and social responsibility to treat all patients equally and to advocate for their well-being. Health equity must be the main priority within your practice, and you should actively promote health equity among other healthcare providers and within your communities. In doing so, remember our vulnerable children, individuals with intellectual and developmental disorders and disabilities, and our aging seniors as they are among some of the most disadvantaged and marginalized individuals within our population. Please don't underestimate the impact of your professional influence. Dr. Andrew Taylor Still, though daunted by the difficult changes of his time, never wavered in his pursuit to achieve his goal of founding a branch of medicine that at its core supports access to care for all people. Our hope is that as our proud alumni, that you will continue in the tradition of Dr. Andrew Taylor Still and fulfill the mission of Missouri School of Dentistry and Oral Health. The science behind research is powerful. I stand here today grateful for many breakthroughs that have been made from research and science that have advanced the human race, cured diseases, improved living conditions, reduced public health risks, prevented epidemics and pandemics, and have vastly improved humans' well-being and life expectancy by decades. 
It is through the great gift of science and research that we're able to gather here today to celebrate your outstanding achievement and to do so with your family and loved ones in this beautiful Baldwin Auditorium instead of online. The same application of research on science and dentistry have improved the quality of oral health through new techniques, therapies, and innovations, thus prolonging tooth mortality, bettering overall systemic health and quality of life. Class of 2022, today is a new beginning for you. You did it. You have achieved what only a fraction of the globally educated population has accomplished. You have worked tirelessly under mental and physical stress, economic challenges, strained relationships, but with assurance and strong support from your family and loved ones, faculty, staff, and administrators, you will, only minutes from now, earn one of the most coveted degrees, the Doctor of Dental Medicine degree. Today is a joyful day. The administrators, faculty, and staff of the Missouri School of Dentistry and Oral Health celebrate your successes and acknowledge your contributions. Class of 2022, you are proud graduates of an institution that embraces a rich osteopathic heritage, provides innovative and contemporary curriculum, advocates for the underserved population, encourages and supports community service, promotes research and lifelong learning, values inclusion and diversity, and educates and develops competent graduates and leaders. Never be daunted, but rise up and take your position in one of the most trusted and admired healthcare professions in the world. Use your leadership power to build community and create positive changes. Go and boldly contribute and make a difference. A.T. Still University, Missouri School of Dentistry and Oral Health graduates, congratulations. It is my honor to invite Ms. Berta Thomas to the podium, who will give a welcome from the Board of Trustees. Ms. Thomas. Thank you so much, Dr. McLeod. Welcome to all on behalf of the Board of Trustees of A.T. Still University. This is the sixth commencement of the Missouri School of Dentistry and Oral Health. Established in 1892 by Dr. Andrew Taylor Still, the university began as the founding college of osteopathic medicine. Over the past 130 years, ATSU has grown from a single discipline school on one campus in Kirksville, Missouri, to a multidisciplinary health professions university with seven schools on three campuses in Kirksville, Mesa, Arizona, and Santa Maria, California, as well as our online presence. Our students, faculty, and staff are part of a distinguished heritage emphasizing whole person health care. This approach begins with a belief in the interactions of the body, mind, and spirit, and continues with an understanding of how these dimensions may be treated as one. Each ATSU program integrates whole person health care into its curriculum and emphasizes development of competencies in interprofessional collaboration, cultural proficiency, critical thinking, social responsibility, and interpersonal skills. I congratulate each and every graduate. I wish you great success and joy in your chosen careers. I hope you will carry with you the many skills and lessons learned from your time at ATSU. Thank you so much for choosing us. Thank you, Ms. Thomas. It is my honor to introduce our honorary degree candidate and today's commencement speaker, Dr. Alan Freeman. 
Dr. Freeman's career spans 37 years, including chief executive roles in two hospitals, two community health centers, and 16 years as president and CEO of Affinia Healthcare. Dr. Freeman holds a bachelor's degree in management and an extended minor in music, a master's of business administration in health service management, and a doctoral degree in management from Webster University. He is a fellow in the American College of Healthcare Executives, a recipient of the Early Career and Senior Level Healthcare Awards from the American College of Healthcare Executives Region for Missouri. The Missouri Primary Care Association Samuel U. Rogers Achievement Award, the National Association of Community Health Centers Grassroot Advocacy Award, and Webster University's Distinguished Alumni Award. Dr. Freeman has served on the Board of Directors for the Missouri Primary Care Association, the St. Louis Regional Health Commission, the St. Louis Integrated Health Network, the Home State Health Plan, and Missouri's American College of Healthcare Executive Chapter, as well as various national committees for the American College of Healthcare Executives. He is a leader of distinction in healthcare. A.T. Steele University and the Missouri School of Dentistry and Oral Health are privileged to call him a friend. You may read more about Dr. Alan Freeman in the commencement program. President Phelps and Dr. Freeman, please join me at the podium. President Phelps, it is my honor and privilege to present to you Dr. Alan Freeman for the honorary degree Doctor of Laws. Thank you, Dr. McLeod. Thank you. One of the highest degrees A.T. Still University of Health Sciences may confer is an honorary doctoral degree in recognition of superior commitment to osteopathic principles and for service to health care, medical education, scientific research, community service, and leadership in political or educational administration. Dr. Freeman, upon the recommendation of the faculty dean and Office of Academic Affairs, and with the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees, I hereby confer on you the honor degree, Doctor of Laws, with all the rights, privileges, and honors, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Congratulations, Dr. Freeman. Good morning. That certainly comes as such a surprise this morning, and I feel so grateful. My heartfelt thanks to President Phelps, Dean McLeod, and the A.T. Still University Board of Trustees, primarily for this opportunity this morning to present the address, as this will be memorable for me. Graduates, family and friends, and esteemed participants and guests, and in addition, what an outstanding faculty. I'll speak of my appreciation for the university and its leadership later this morning. I promised Dr. Gevitz I wouldn't go off script and that I would condense my 45 minutes of remarks into 10. <laughs> Everyone will be pleased, yes. I want to open by introducing the notion of dates. Today's a pivotal one. The kind we find on the calendar, of course. I've always been inclined to remember lots of them. Of course, graduates today, May 20th, 2022, is a pivotal date for you. For you and your loved ones and close friends, an exciting and monumental day, my congratulations to all of you. And that would be extended as well for my many colleagues across 
the United States and the community health center environment. As dentists in practice, you will have occasions, holiday gatherings and dinner parties and conversations with your patients and your coworkers. And you'll be asked about this date, your graduation day, and it's possible that you might reply, I remember it well. Humor me for a moment, if you will, graduates. Would you repeat that after me? I remember it well. Come on. I remember, come on. I remember it well. Everybody in the audience, all of the family and friends and esteemed guests, everybody. I remember it well. That feels good this morning, doesn't it? He remembers it well. For some of you, the date, May 20th, may be significant for other reasons. Think about that for a moment. I will tell you that this day in the year is certainly etched in my personal consciousness. This might be uncanny for many of you, but here goes. I will attempt to be brief. May the 20th, 1977, I graduated from Lesterville, R4 schools in southern Missouri, a class smaller in number than yours, 45 years ago today. 1982, I graduated from Southwest Missouri State with a bachelor's in business and a minor in music. As my parents often said, it really took you 155 hours to do that. Graduated with thousands of folks, I remember it well, 40 years ago today. May 20th, 1993, 29 years ago today, Webster University, MBA, Health Services Administration, emphasis, hundreds of graduates, 56 hours. I remember it well, very well. And I will remember this day for the rest of my life, for the honor of addressing you and the conference of the unexpected degree. I am emphasizing and reminding us this morning that certain dates are important. Whether they are universally shared within a culture or group, or they are cherished and remembered by just one person. I remember dates. You will remember dates. Of course, I haven't committed to memory all of the dates that are important. Suspect that you haven't either. For your address this morning, there is a date that eludes me, and I've thought a lot about it. I wish I could remember, but I don't remember the specific date. I can remember the year. It was 2003. But I don't remember the day or the, the month of that year. I wish I could. That particular date was when it struck me that the decision I had made to serve in the community health center arena absolutely was the right choice for me. Absolutely it was. Maybe I wasn't quite so sure before that moment, but after then I had no doubt. Think about the dates that are important in your life as I tell you my story. You've read in the program that I served in hospitals and I was on track for a career there. My wife, Deanna, a clinical executive, nursing executive, flourishing career. Then one day out of the blue, I received a call in our home from some lifelong friends. They suggested I consider applying for a leadership role at a CHC organization that was really, really struggling. At first, my response was, great to hear from you. No, but thank you very much. Several days passed and the phone rang again. And by the way, in those days, there was a phone on the wall. It sounded like this. The phone rang and Deanna answered at this time. Same people on the line after she talked to them. We decided to explore a few of the details and accepted an invitation to meet with our board of directors, Southeast Missouri. 
Interestingly, the primary service area of that community health center is the rurally isolated region. Emphasize that a moment, rurally isolated, where Dee and I grew up. Even today, many of our family and friends live there. While the opportunity did feel compelling for those reasons, we were reluctant, my goodness gracious. Why would we choose to interrupt our current path? Yet, we interviewed, I was offered the job, thankfully, and after some soul searching, we said yes. Emphasis on we said yes. I couldn't fully explain every factor that caused us to be drawn. Though looking back, I'm convinced this was part of our journey. The older I get, the more I recognize that these are truths. Our destiny. So back to that specific date that I can't remember. I'm coming back to the date I can't remember. I'm sure I won't remember it on the way back to St. Louis, but I wish I could. Early in the new job, I received a call. Now listen here, please. Another call, you see from leaders of an organization that houses and cares for youth in need of short and long-term support. That's diplomatically stated. They invited me to visit because they had an idea on their minds and intrigued, I accepted their invitation. Now I remind you, rurally isolated, hang with me there for a moment, by this I'm saying a drive of three hours to the nearest metropolitan area, an hour from any four-lane highway, 30 minutes from the nearest McDonald's. Beautiful hills and streams, welcoming local folks for the most part. Some of you may think Kirksville is really rural. Not. I can take you to really rural. The day of our meeting came, directions in hand, no map quest, you see. Had them out in front of us in paper. And accompanied by two colleagues, off we went. 30 minutes along the way, we turned down a curvy, pothole-ridden gravel road. Little did we know that the offices were two miles off the asphalt. Now this was taking place in the early springtime, I do remember that much. Quite a lot of rain had fallen the night before. Swollen waters overflowed the concrete, low water bridges that spanned the two creeks between the highway and the offices. Even so, the, remain, the, the road remained open to local traffic. We knew this. <laughs> because the escort motored across both bridges rather easily in a four-wheel drive, three-quarter ton pickup. Luckily, we were there safely. Now here we are, listen closely. As we arrived, several young people who were scattered about the well-maintained grounds stopped what they were doing and they stared our way. Some were taking part in sports, and some were gathered together in small groups, and a few were noticeably just taking time for themselves. Seated under tall oak trees or along wood-railed fences, I remember it quite well. I thought I sensed loneliness and withdrawal on their faces and in their body language. I wondered. Are they a long way from their familiar environments, these young people? We had a rather informal meeting. As we anticipated, there was an ask. It was simple, not easy to deliver. If we will supply the physical infrastructure, will you develop and operate a small clinic on our property? which the youth in our care and our staff and our residents in the community can access. We agreed to look into it. I gotta tell you, I wasn't sure at the moment how that was ever going to work. It was during our trip back to the offices after we had crossed the last low water bridge 
and we approach the highway, that the metaphorical thunder and the epiphanic lightning struck around me, figuratively speaking. Alan, I thought to myself, these are vulnerable people living challenged lives, facing extremely difficult circumstances, and they need help. Our help. For someone who had been in the C-suite of hospitals for a while, that even seemed odd, peculiar to me. I'll never forget the moment. The experience is vivid in my mind. So we went back to the offices. We did our important evaluation. We presented a proposal to our board of directors. They accepted it. We had a few of the normal fits and starts, but we opened a clinic. Access to vital primary health care on a gravel road a long way from, well, most places, if not everywhere. And referral sources for dental and behavioral health services those benefits were provided to. Again, the specific date, I just don't remember. But it was a date for me, this purpose-affirming, career-refining moment in my life. I remember it well. Graduates and guests, I won't ask you. We don't have time. You wouldn't take time to share your experiences. Perhaps they are similar. I'm convinced there's some sort of moment or event in most of our lives that shapes us and it guides us, perhaps helps define what we do and who we become. Here is the essence of what I want to say to the graduates and others who would be interested to hear. In your respective careers in dentistry, I am confident the following will be your reality. People who have less than they need and who might be capable of offering you less than you may need will be seated in your waiting rooms and your operatories. Now, practicing in a community health center isn't a prerequisite for this experience. They are everywhere. But of course, it's a well-lighted pathway. Wherever you go, whoever, wherever you are, you will experience this, and I trust you can take with you the notion of being struck by the lightning of compassion and concern for your patients and their circumstances. And maybe that experience was sparked or even inflamed through the years of training and mentoring at the A.T. Still University's Missouri School of Dentistry and Oral Health. I promise you those patients will remember it well. I want to acknowledge Affinia Healthcare, of course you suspect that I would, the organization I've led now for 16 years. Ours is among 29 community health centers in Missouri and about 1,400 across the United States with missions that serve the vulnerable and often disenfranchised people. Social determinants of health and inequities that impact the lived experiences of most of our patients and in all of our communities at Affinia Healthcare are simply overwhelming. 94% of our patients live in abject poverty, 40% are uninsured. The average lifespan in the communities we serve ranges between 8 and 15 years lower than the lifespans in the middle and upper income areas contiguous to St. Louis. These are among the numerous glaringly disparate facts. This is the most rewarding work I've done in my career. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, as I mentioned at the onset, a few words about my abiding respect for your university and its representatives. Without question, the authenticity and integrity displayed by the leadership and staff as proven through their unwavering commitment are the most genuine and of the highest caliber and quality that I have encountered over a career approaching 40 years. These professional associations and friendships will stand the test of time. I will remember them well. 
my very best to each and every one of you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Freeman. Public health is the field devoted to preventing disease, prolonging life, and promoting health through organized community efforts and informed choices of society, organizations, communities, and individuals. The Master of Public Health degree is a professional master's degree awarded for studies in areas related to public health focusing on improving health through identification, prevention, and solutions to the community health needs. All graduates earn a certificate in public health with an emphasis on dentistry. Some of our students decide to complete the entire master's degree program while earning their dental degree. Dr. Branch Mays will assist with the presentation of the Master of Public Health candidates. President Phelps, the candidates for the Master of Public Health have successfully completed the requirements for their degree. On behalf of A.T. Still University's College of Graduate Health Studies and upon the faculty and program director's recommendations, I have the pleasure of presenting them to you. Will the candidates for the Master of Public Health Please rise and proceed to the stage. Chester A. Cab Bradley the Fourth. Whitney Kimney Doe. <laughs> Caitlin Gifford Falk. Lance E. Leslie the Third, All right, I'm going to ask you to please stand just for a moment. Upon the recommendation of the faculty dean and senior vice president of academic affairs, and by the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees and the State of Missouri, I hereby confer upon each of you the degree Master of Public Health with all the rights, honors, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Congratulations. Thank you, President Phelps. Dental medicine involves the art and science of prevention, diagnosis, and treatment of conditions, diseases, and disorders of the oral cavity, maxillofacial, and associated regions. Graduates of the Missouri School of Dentistry and Oral Health are educated to become socially responsible, technologically adept dentists who will serve communities in need while engaging in lifelong learning. For the presentation and hooding ceremony, President Phelps and I will be assisted by Drs. Branch Mays, Michael Abels, Richard Allenson, and Poonam Jane. President Phelps, 
the candidates for the Doctor of Dental Medicine have successfully completed their requirements for their degree. Upon recommendations of the faculty, I have the pleasure of presenting them to you. Will the candidates for the A.T. Steele University Missouri School of Dentistry and Oral Health Class of 2022 please rise and proceed to the stage. Noah Hardy Barnes. Fatty S. Bolus, <laughs> hooded by his mother, Dr. Kirilos. Chester A. Bradley IV. <laughs> Logan Chase Carter. Nelson Chang. Grant Joseph Coleman. Taylor Deanne Cummins. Whitney Kimney Doe. <laughs> Jacob Hayton Dransville. <laughs> Nicholas M. Dubina. Caitlin Gifford Folk. <laughs> Herschel Jameson Gaddy the Third. <laughs> Olivia Hart Gaddy. Anna Marie Greer. <laughs> Roberto Guzman Ilias. <laughs> Corey. Henry <laughs> Jonahan Gent <laughs> Hanan Kayali. Madison Dawn Keller. <laughs> Kristen Nicole Clutchard. <laughs> Rebecca La. Lance E. Leslie the Third <laughs> Julia Jane Ann Lincecum <laughs> 
Michael Darren Litchfield. Monzi Mehta. Claire Catherine Miles. Zachary Michael Morris. Sarah Murphy. Ashvi Patel. Pratik Patel. Sarah Marie Patterson. Parker Drake Pearson. <laughs> Julie Ann Fan. <laughs> Sarah Marie Powell. Zachary Robert Santero, <laughs> hooded by his grandfather, Dr. Jensen. <laughs> Jacob Matthew Simmons. Haley S. Speck. <laughs> Nicholas Q. Tran. <laughs> Zara Vimwala. Bryce Barclay Wainwright. <laughs> Paul Broderick Wainer. <laughs> Hooded by his mother, Dr. Werner. Great, if you'll please stand. This is great. 
upon the recommendation of the faculty dean and senior vice president of academic affairs and by the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees and the State of Missouri. I hereby confer upon each of you the degree Doctor of Dental Medicine with all the rights, privileges, honors, and responsibilities pertain thereto. Congratulations, doctors. As is tradition, I'm honored to administer the oath to the profession. The oath is located on page 11 of the commencement program. I invite all dentists on the stage and in the audience to participate in the oath. Class of 2022, please stand. Please raise your right hand and recite the oath with me in unison. So lo loved, your family in the back row can hear you. There will be a slight pause between each sentence. I pledge to faithfully fulfill my obligations as a member of the dental profession. My responsibility is to promote the health of the community and the persons I serve. The health of my patients will be my first commitment. My practice depends upon the trust of my patients. I will not violate that trust. I will no, no harm. I will honor my peers. I will respect the diversity they bring to the profession and commitment to our mutual success. I will honor my patients' dignity. I will be their zealous advocate, sensitive to their feelings, needs, and thoughts. I will not discriminate against any person in my decisions and care. I recognize the limits of my competence. I will seek knowledge and inspiration from my colleagues whenever my patients' needs require. I will strive to improve my knowledge and skills. I am responsible for contributing to the improvement of the community. I will strive to prevent disease and to correct adverse social conditions. I will serve as both a teacher and role model for my patients, my successors, and the public. I am responsible for upholding my profession's integrity. I will strive to counsel those deficient in character or competence and expose those who engage in fraud or deception. I will use my professional knowledge according to the laws of humanity. With this oath, I willingly assume these responsibilities. Thank you. Please be seated. Since 1893, A.T. Still University has graduated more than 34,000 proud alumni. Today, we welcome you to our alumni family. Please welcome Missouri School of Dentistry and Oral Health Alumni Chapter and A.T. Still University Alumni Association member, Dr. Lisa Bosch, class of 2019. Dr. Bosch. To the members, to the members of the Missouri School of Dentistry and Oral Health Class of 2022, my health professional colleagues to whom I shall address these brief remarks. 
As you look to the future, teach others about your A.T. Still University and always remember your alma mater. You will continue to be an important part of this university, its progress, and its success. Congratulations on studying the stage and paving the way for all future MOSDO students and graduates. The Alumni Association provides many opportunities for you to stay in touch and to get involved. We hope you will take advantage of these. You are the greatest ambassadors to the university, and we hope you will accept this opportunity to join us in working together to assure the future of AT Still remains as bright as it is now. Will the Mosdo graduates please stand? As a member of the Missouri School of Dentistry and Oral Health Alumni Chapter and a member of the A.T. Still University Alumni Association, by the authority vested in me by the ATSU Alumni Association, it is my pleasure and privilege to induct you <clears throat> as individuals and as a graduating class into membership in the A.T. Still University Alumni Association and the Missouri School of Dentistry and Oral Health Alumni Chapter. On behalf of the other university alumni worldwide, it is my ple pleasure and privilege to welcome you as members of the A.T. Still University Alumni Association. You may be seated. Thank you, Dr. Bosch. As we conclude our commencement ceremony, I welcome President Phelps to the podium for his closing remarks. Thank you, Dr. McLeod. Once again, congratulations, uh, graduates and your families. Uh, boy, what a, what a great day. I, I do remember it well. Uh, I graduated on a similar day like this. It was rainy out front. We came into Baldwin Hall, and it was a very, very, very special time with, with my family. So uh, Dr. Gevitz was one of the graduation speakers or the keynote speaker. So you know, even though he was only 15 at the time, did a wonderful job. <laughs> so you know, when we read this oath to the profession, I, I really like this oath. I get to hear the oaths of all the different um, professions that we work with. Uh, but I would encourage you to make a copy of this, perhaps put it inside your closet at home or the medicine cabinet or in your workstation, and then maybe also put one out in the lobby uh, where you practice dentistry. Uh, when I read this, I think that's the kind of oral health professional that I want to go to. I want a dentist who will do these things uh, that are on this oath, and I think it will, will serve you well. And in case you give a talk somewhere or you give you know, uh, testimony in Congress or at the state level or... God forbid, at a, uh, a malpractice suit, this is the type of thing that they're going to bring up and say, hey, did, do you remember that oath you took on that date? Uh, and they may even have a copy to refresh your memory. So I would encourage you to remember that oath and, and be proud of it. Um, I think your patients uh, and, and co-partners co that you work with will, will really think that's fantastic. Thank you, Dr. McLeod, faculty and staff of MOSDO for all you've done for these students over the years. Uh, and then today to get things ready uh, for um, this opportunity. Dr. Freeman, um, Bertha, thank you very much for uh, your words today. Dr. Bosch, great to see you. That's always best to have our, our young alumni here um, to continue to uh, inspire uh, the future generations of uh, dentists. I also want to thank the folks throughout the university um, that participate in graduation preparations. We have our IT folks, we have our academic technology folks, we have our president's staff, we have communications and marketing, student affairs, a lot of team members and volunteers that come together to make this a very special time and day, so we want to thank those folks. Graduates, uh, today is one of the most important days of your personal and professional life. In several minutes, when you walk through those doors, for the rest of your life, you will wear the mantle of a healer. More importantly, those sitting before you, next to you, and behind you will support and continue to support you throughout your career as you dedicate yourself to the most noble of all callings. You have what our nation needs, and in fact, what our world needs. As our founder, Dr. A.T. Still emphasized in his works, finding disease is fairly simple, but helping our patients find health, that is our true mission. No one is better prepared than you, and no one can do it better than you. Opportunities you have yet to dream of await you to seize and realize. 
Our future is in your hands. Until we meet again, congratulations and Godspeed.